Bulgaris D. Bulgaris, 1085, 1166. The double name comes from later sources such as the 14th century Bologna Chronicle. He was an Italian jurist and orator who communicated with the Emperor and the Pope. He lives in Bologna, where he has a complex of houses called Curia Bulgari. It also houses the Church of St. Maria dei Bulgari. Later, a university building was built on the site of the complex, which today is a library. On the staircase to this library there is a preserved coat of arms from the 12th century, which is interpreted as belonging to the Bulgarian Duke, 7th century, leader of the Bulgarians who settled in Italy around 668 in the Benevito region. There is no information about his family. He studied in the Benedictine monastery relocated on the site of the church, where his grave was later laid. He was married twice, from the first marriage he had two children, and from the second he had no children. Bulgaris D. Bulgaris taught at the law school of the University of Bologna, which is the oldest existing university in Europe, and Bulgaris D. Bulgaris was one of its founders. As a lawyer, he was engaged in the study of ancient Roman law with the title of Glazator. Glazators were engaged in the interpretation of Roman law in the 11th-13th centuries. In 1158, Bulgarus was the leading jurist at the University of Bologna and advisor to Emperor Frederick Barbarossa. He later became vicar of Bologna. Disputes about the Bulgarian origin of Bulgaris de Bulgaris the researchers put in the semantics of Bulgaris not only an ethnic Bulgarian, but also a heretic. The name connects Bulgaris de Bulgaris with the Bulgarian ethnicity, but apart from this onomastic, anthroponymic, indicator there are no other facts and documents about his origin. The anthroponymic argument that a component personal name and nickname system of Bulgaris de Bulgaris corresponds to the descriptive phrase name and the generic name. The suffix is us, is our characteristic of Roman names, Quintus, Tiberius, etc., but also of Thracian ones, Delazelmis, Mucatralis, etc. During the Middle Ages, under the influence of Byzantium, the Bulgarian anthroponymic system changed. Shishman's our son Alexandrov. In the Bulgarian anthroponymic system, there is a section of toponymic personal names, where we find a tradition of naming people after the names of regions, countries, mountains, etc. Persia, Sofiana, Dobrudzhana, Vezin, Rasitsa, etc. We will find such a tradition also in relation to geonyms, geonym, a pseudonym that hints at the settlement, the country, the nationality. Such geonyms are, for example, Boyan Bolgar, Ivan Argentinsky, was in Argentina, Sanko Tserkovsky, from White Church. The religious argument this argument examines the semantics of the Latin name in view of religion. Bulgaris means heretic, Katha. In France and Italy, the Cathars of the Bulgarian Bogomil Church are defined religiously as Bulgarians. It is known that Marcus, who was the first bishop of the Cathars, belonged to the Bogomil Church of Bulgaria. A connection can be sought between Bulgaris de Bulgaris and the presence of Bogomils in Italy. Bulgaris died in 1167, and only in 1179 were the Cathars condemned as heretics. A look at the social aspect of the teachings of the Bogomils and the views of Bulgaris reveals the points of contact. 
According to the Bogomals, slaves should not work for their masters. This position was given legal form by Bulgaris, who invoked natural law and declared that slaves were free and men were equal. In a religious sense, Bulgaristi Bulgaris can be defined as a Bulgarian. Some researchers accept the word Bulgarians as a religious name meaning people of God. Other arguments The Bulgarian origin of Bulgaristi Bulgaris is confirmed by the Bologna Psalter kept at the University of Bologna and by historical sources about the persecution of the Bogomals in Bulgaria. Many of them settled in the vicinity of Bologna. According to some historians, it is unlikely that the family of Bulgaristi Bulgaris arrived from Danube, Bulgaria. They accept the thesis that it was one of those proto-Bulgarians who settled in Italy in the 6th century. There are testimonies that identify them as the fifth largest nation in the Holy Roman Empire. Ulsek, the fifth son of Kubrat and brother of Asparuch arrived in Italy around 667 according to the chronicler Theophanes the Confessor. The oratory skills of Bulgaristi Bulgaris in arguments as an orator, Bulgaristi Bulgaris pays great attention to wit and resourcefulness. According to him, a word spoken in the right place and at the right time has great power. Bulgaristi Bulgaris oratorical strategies and tactics make him a hero of short narrative texts of the time. In an anonymous collection from the 13th century, Novellino, a collection of 100 short stories, one of the novellas is entitled on how the Emperor Frederick asked a question of two wise men and rewarded them, it is said that the Emperor Frederick Barbarossa, 1152-1190, called two wise men, Bulgero, Bulgaristi Bulgaris, and Martino, Martin Gozier. Both were professors of law at the University of Bologna. The question he put to them was, Sirs, can I by your law, take something from my subjects, and give it to another to whom I please, without explaining the reason, only on this ground, that I'm a master, and the law states, that the master's will is law to his subjects. Tell me, can I do so, just because I want to? One told the emperor that he could do as he pleased and would not be guilty of anything, but the other disagreed. According to him, the law is the highest justice and everyone must respect and obey it. If the emperor takes something from someone, he must know the reason why he is doing it. The emperor rewarded both of them. To one he gave a red hat and a white horse, and to the other he entrusted the conduct of the proceedings, historical fact. The reward of the one was for his pleasing, and of the other for his defense of justice. Bulgaristi Bulgaris defends the position that the law also applies to the emperor, who reflects higher justice. He is one of the first jurists in Europe to raise the idea of justice as the basis of laws. Also known is a provision bearing his name, which defends the position that, if a mother takes other people's products, driven by the need to feed her children, this cannot be qualified as theft. Other controversial issues about Bulgaristi Bulgaris The clarified and unclear moments surrounding Bulgaristi Bulgaris give rise to new controversies. Should he be included as a speaker among the great names of Bulgarian rhetoric? What are the connections between his name and other jurists with the Bulgaris component in their name? Egg Bulgarinus, Professor at Pisa and Sina, circa 1490. 
Can it be said that there was a whole family or several families of lawyers of Bulgarian origin in Italy?